Oh, hey, I didn't notice you there. How's it going? So today we're going to be working on an A1708 MacBook that seems to not be working or turning on. This was quoted $1,200 at Apple. Let's see if it's going to be cheaper than $1,200 to fix this MacBook and make it work again. First thing we need to do is we need to remove the coronavirus from this MacBook. So we wipe this thing down, make it nice and clean and disinfected. There's no higher compliment from a customer walking into the store than when they say, it smells like a hospital in here. Why, thank you. Why, thank you. I gave someone back their MacBook last week, and they said, this smells like alcohol. I'm like, I'm glad you noticed. So I'm going to open the bottom of this MacBook. We're inside the MacBook. Let's see how much power it takes from the USB-C charger. All right. It looks like we've got 20 volts, 300 milliamps, which actually, I imagine, would be powering on. Strange that it's not. Now it's using 34 milliamps, 250 milliamps, 34 milliamps, 30 milliamps. Strange, I've never seen this type of behavior before in a MacBook. I don't imagine that this would be a short to ground on our PP bus. I'm pretty sure the fact that the Cat5 cable has been jammed through the door over and over again is why the stream keeps disconnecting. I just can't recrimp one right now. I did that literally the first day I was here before we moved everything. Let's see how the behavior changes when it's unplugged. I don't know what you mean by Revlon tweezers, Vank. Oh, 170, 180 milliamps, you say. Strange. All right, so we're taking 17 milliamps. Our PP bus is not present. PP bus is 500 millivolts. I have no idea because I don't know the model of the machine, Muffin B. Is it an A1278, an A1286, an A1425, or an A1398? Mid-2012 MacBook Pro is about as vague as saying I have a Honda. What is wrong with my Honda? A1278, A1286, a1425 or A1398? What do you own? Hmm, okay. So we have no PP bus G3 hot here. See, this is annoying. That's not, a, that's not a full short to ground, but it's enough of a short to ground that things are not going to work properly. That's aggravating. Or is it even? It's slowly going up. Oh, this is annoying. Is this a short or is this not a short? Make up your damn mind. It doesn't even know.
All right. I say it's a short. So now, is there any tantalumness? Tantalums that are shorted and obviously blown up. Also, according to the intake, this ticket, yeah, let's see, this ticket note said that they had a, Apple said they had liquid damage. So let's see if that's true or bullshit. There's no liquid here at all. Hi. See, that's not liquid damage. That's an explosion. Okay, what do we have here? What is this? I like this song. I make louder. That's not water damage. Yeah, I just made it worse. And that short is right underneath. Oh, man, look, this shit goes all the way through the board. You see this over here? You see this? That's a short that went all the way through the board here. So this board just spontaneously decided to kill itself. See? So usually what we can do is... It's possible to, if the board, if there's a short inside the board, I can scrape it out. So let's say that you have these two layers of the board, right? And there's insulation between them. So this is metal and conducts electricity, and this conducts electricity for another part. And there's a, now let's say that they somehow burn up and, and start touching. What I can do is I could take my knife and I can go in there and try to chop and chop and chop and chop and chop. So you could have your two layers come together. So what I do is I try to chop and chop and chop so that I can eventually separate them and cut off all the crap that's in between. But here, I can't do that because it's all the way through the board. It's not just the two top layers. It's going all the way through. And what really makes this offensive and disgusting is that Apple told this customer that their board spontaneously burning like this was water damage when there's no water here at all. If you take a look at an angle, you can even see that the board itself is warped in that section. So there's like a little hill. So, you know, see this? Let's just get some more light. Overclock the microscope light a little. So, 
See? It's a hill. Like, it's, it's actually, this explosion actually warped the board. It's no longer flat. This is not laying down flat like this resistor is. It's pointing upwards. In this section, this, this is all the way through. So this is not something that I can fix. I could scrape this until the cows come home, but I'm never going to get to what's... No, I'm never going to be able to scrape through that without destroying the entire board itself, at which point there's no point to removing the short because you don't have a board. So to fix this board, it would be kind of be like removing a tumor or a cancer that spread to the entire body. To remove the cancer, you have to kill the person. This was not in any way, shape, or form liquid damage. And I hope that you can use this video when you go back to the Apple store that told you it was liquid damage and give them a middle finger because that's what they deserve. So with that, unfortunately, this is not a board that I will be able to repair. I will move on to the next ticket. Let me just put a note in this one. And uh, sorry we couldn't do more for you.